Hi there everyone, welcome to the Yuxa channel. Today I just want to talk about a book that I wrote. And it's actually been out for quite a while now, uh, but Flight has a, a second brand called Bumblebee. It's an even more affordable brand than Flight's own entry-level ukuleles, which themselves are pretty affordable. Now there's a negative here, which is that Bumblebee cannot be sold in the United States because apparently somebody else has a trademark to that name at this time. So you can buy, however, bumblebee ukuleles throughout Europe. And I was asked to make sort of a book that would go along with that, an instruction book. So here is what it is. And there's some playing of words here, but it's called Flight of the Bumblebee. And it's in several languages. I think it's going to be up to like five different languages. And these are bundled with um, some of the bumblebee ukuleles. Now, if you live in the United States, you could buy one of those from like Music Shop Europe, or you could buy one from Music Room, uh, which are online. So you could actually buy the Bumblebee ukulele and this book. You cannot buy the book separately at this time, to my knowledge. Um, incidentally, you're paid a one-time fee from the publisher, and that's it. So there's no continuing royalties down the road um, when you do this sort of thing. And what I was going for in this book was to find world folk songs that could be used out of copyright, and then because it's published by Hal Leonard, um, Hal Leonard gave us uh, the ability to choose some songs and put them in the back as sort of a bonus. So let's just show you what, what's in here. So, of course, there's my name and everything, the Bumblebee logo, introduction, and all the different chords that you learn. And I use my standard chord introduction, so C, F, G7, G, although in my own teaching I teach G before G7, just as a side note. Um, a minor, C7, D minor, D7, D, E minor, A7, and the B flat chord, and then finally a C6 chord with a song made by a Minnesotan. Um, I live in Wisconsin, but teach in Minnesota in the United States, and there's a Minnesotan who wrote a, song, a book called um, 11 Optimistic Songs, Highly Optimistic Songs for Ukulele, Jeremy Messersmith, and we contacted him and he gave us permission to use a song called Honey Bee. C6 is just all open strings. But anyway, there's an introduction, um, introduction to the ukulele family, getting started, things that you need to know, parts of the ukulele. Um, they used uh, an illustrator. These are not my illustrations, but I asked them and gave them feedback of what I wanted, and they found illustrations to match of how to hold the ukulele, how to tune the ukulele, some things about setup, um, how to read chord diagrams, and then introduction to the chords, and then also basic strumming, and then songs that use the chords that that are shown with basic strumming ideas. At some point, I'll make tutorial videos for each one of these songs that will be available. If anybody has the book, then they can play and sing along with me. So there's Farah Jaka here, uh, Skip to My Lou, F and C, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, C and G7, Pin Pong, um, which is C and G7. Marco Scache, I believe, is how they say it, um, which is C and G7, vegan lead, a little bit of Brahms there, uh, C, F and G7, then the G chord, found a peanut, great folk song, one of my play-long videos is one of my favorite to teach students uh, with C and G, twinkle, twinkle, little star, A minor chord, drunken sailor, in today's world, drunken sailor, can be looked at negatively, but you know what? It's okay. C7 chord, Alouetta de Colores, a little bit of my uh, Mexican experience and my experience in Mexico and my speaking of Spanish and a lot of Spanish is represented there. The D minor chord, the water is wide. The D7 chord, Estanz ein Bibi Butzemem, which is a German folk song. The Wabash Cannonball, American folk song. The D chord with Happy Birthday, which is now out of uh, copyright question marks. The E minor chord with I Love the Martin, Mountains. Martins. I do love the Martins, incidentally, but I love the Mountains. Um, the A7 chord with Er ist ihr ein Jarig, which I believe is a Norwegian uh, folk song. Or it could be Finnish. Can't remember off the top of my head. Aloha Away, which is with the B flat chord. And then the C6 chord with Honey Bee by Jeremy Messersmith. Metzer and then a chord chart at the end. And then there's Bumblebee's songbook, which are a bunch of songs that are more 
popular. And I took some of the most popular ukulele playlongs, made sure they were here. Can't help falling in love in the style of uh, 21 Pilots. So it's in 3 4, not 4 4. Alleluia by Leonard Cohen. Lava from Disney. These are all great songs in ukulele. Let It Be by the Beatles. Again, can't make a play along with the Beatles, but you can, when you have the connection with the publisher, you can do it. Lost Boy by Ruth B., one of my all time favorites and one of my highest watched videos on the Play Along channel. Over the Rainbow by Is. Not the part with um, What a Wonderful World, but just the Over the Rainbow part. And Perfect, another uh, Ed Sheeran song, but another one of the most popular videos on my channel. And that's it. So that's what this book is all about. And it's in several languages and intentionally made so that um, most of the material is folk songs that you can use and play legally without uh, repercussions with copyright. So very, very excited about that. I've had a digital copy of this for quite a while, but Hal Leonard was finally able to get me a standalone copy of this book. Usually it's just packaged with Bumblebee so they couldn't really pull one out on its own. And I'm just really happy to show you that. So. Again, if you're interested in the package with this book, you'd have to order it, for example, in the United States from, um, again, Music Room or Music Shop Europe, and they could uh, get you the ukulele with this book as well. And it really isn't too bad for shipping, and they get it here pretty quick. I've ordered a couple ukuleles from those companies just myself in the past and have been able to do that. All right, so I just wanted to show you this. I'm pretty happy about it. Um, I have other things published. I have things on my own channel, arrangements and so forth at youthstuff.info. Um, of course, I've got my master's and my doctoral thesis, my master's thesis, my doctoral dissertation that are out there that are published. And there's other things that I've published over time, a couple books on technology, music education that are out of date now. But this is sort of thing is lasting and it's fun just to have been able to make this and to share it with you today. So there it is, published author. Very happy to do it, and I think it's a nice little solid introduction to the ukulele. At some point, again, I'll make some tutorial videos that go along with this. Uh, when I'm singing it, though, however, because I will be able to sing on those, um, I, I will have to ask forgiveness if I ever have mispronunciations with any of the lyrics of some of the languages that I don't natively speak or wasn't trained to sing uh, in college. As a singer, you get trained to sing in German, French. Um, I already knew Spanish and a little bit of Russian, a little bit of Japanese, things like that. But there are languages you don't spend a lot of time in. So uh, I'll be working on that too. So, all right, there it is, my book. Kind of fun to see Flight of the Bumblebee and Taking Off with the Ukulele by me. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll be back soon with some more Uke stuff for you.